Hey everybody, um, I was so excited to just do a little Facebook live action now that we are in the new year and I'm just hearing so many of my clients and uh, friends all over the world just talking about what their goals are now that it's a new year. And um, I'm just so excited it's a new year. I wanted to give you a few tips on how to really, really jumpstart your career and a few key things you could do. Um, and the other day I was, I was really, really inspired. I was reading Mark Twain and he said, um, there are two mo most important days in your life. He said, the first most important day is the day you're born. And the second most important day is the day that you find out why, uh, why you're born. And I think what's so powerful about your career is that it is such an incredible vehicle for you to really express your why. So the first question I want to ask you is, do you feel like your career aligns with who you are? Do you really feel like your career is presenting you with opportunities to fully express that. And if it's not, uh, what can you do to really um, honor that this year and really explore what the best career is for you? So for those of you who are not sure if you're in the right career path, I wanted to just give you a few key things that I talk about a lot of the time with my clients on how to get closer to your why and, and what the right career might be for you. Um, so one of the best things you can do when it comes to figuring out the best career path for you, especially as we're starting a new year, is to really think about the function. Think about what you want to do in the workforce. Think less about the industry you want to be in and think more about the function and the skill set that you want to use. And if you're not sure what kind of skills that you want to be using in the workforce, maybe you want to go ahead and ask friends, family, uh, you're the, you know, such a powerful uh, vehicle for figuring out who you are is the people around you who love you and who see you. So I would say uh, I highly recommend asking people around you, what kind of skill set do you think I'm really good at? Is it talking to people? Is it writing? Is it math? Like, what do you think that I'm really good at? And really exploring different career paths in that realm. And again, clarity comes through engagement. It doesn't come through thought. So um, you could be thinking your way into uh, clarity, but usually that doesn't work. What's really going to work is thinking, well, how can I engage? So maybe you're talking to people and they're saying, well, you're really good at uh, writing. Um, then maybe you want to engage with some writers or you want to read a book about becoming a writer or you want to uh, interview different people who use writing a lot in their career to get an idea on what their worlds look like and what might inspire you. So there's a lot of ways to really get clear. Um, hi, Carrie. Um, there's a lot of ways to really get clear on how to use these skill sets and it comes through engagement. And engagement could mean networking, it could mean reading a book, it could mean interviewing people, it can mean taking a job. I mean, that's a high level of engagement, but trial and error and taking those sorts of risks are so powerful for your career and I think that you're always better for them. Um, a few other things that I just wanna recommend as we're all thinking about the new year um, that I was inspired to share the first thing is one of my best practices for the new year, and I've been seeing a lot of different people write about this, is um, picking a word, like really thinking about what, what do I want to embody in this new year, and really picking one word, because I think resolutions can get kind of seedy, they're all over the place, um, so really picking one word that inspires you, that moves you, that you want to call more of into your life. So. Um, a couple years ago, my year was authenticity, and the reason I chose that word was because I had a really hard time saying no to people, and the lack of boundary translated into me not taking care of myself, so I chose the word authenticity to mean being authentic to myself, saying yes when it's a yes, and saying no when it's a no, and finding a nice way to do that. Um, the next year, it was grace, so last year, my world, uh, my New Year's word was all about grace, and this year, it's equanimity. Um, my world all this year is about how to access peace no matter what my circumstances, no matter what's going on around me, uh, which is a really good word because I'm planning a live event in May um, called Limitless You. Stay tuned for that. Um, if you're on my email list, you'll hear about it, which is all about confidence and upping your mindset and um, 
really just exploring different strategies for all of my clients um, to attend this event to get clear on what they want to do with their lives. Um, so I recommend if you if you don't have a word that you really, really want to honor this year to really think about what resonates for you. If you're not sure, ask the people around you. What do you think I need more of, more of in my life? And um, truth isn't something you learn. I think truth is something that you recognize. It's already inside of you for that reason. And so if you're talking to somebody in your life, I think if they make a recommendation, the inside, you know, on your inside, you'll be like, yes, you know, you will recognize when that word is right for you or when somebody's recommending something that feels like something you want to own. Um, so that's what I recommend more than New Year's resolutions. That's what I kind of stick to. I also wanted to just share some some good things to kind of do some spring cleaning since it's, well, it's not really spring, but it's, it's a new year. Um, things you could do in your career. So the first thing is take a look at your resume. Take a look at your LinkedIn profile. Um, have you updated them? Uh, more and more employers are doing passive searches, meaning that they are looking for candidates even when they're not hiring. So I highly recommend um, doing a little spring cleaning, uh, winter cleaning, I guess, on your LinkedIn profile, updating your resume so that it's ready just in case um, new opportunities present themselves. A lot of people you know, know that January is a great year to get a new job. Employers are finishing out the year. They know what their budget looks like. They have a better sense on their needs. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, it's important to have these documents on hand. Another thing that I think is really exciting to think about with the new year is to build your skill set. Um, one statistic that kind of blows my mind is that by 2025, um, a futurist by the name of Faith Popcorn, uh, that's her real name, God bless it, it's an amazing name, Faith Popcorn, she was saying that um, one third of the workforce is going to be displaced by robots by 2025. Crazy. Uh, so what does this mean for you? This means that employers are really looking at soft skill sets. They're looking at you to have leadership skills, communication skills, essentially skill sets that can't be replaced by a robot. So I would say start to kind of consider how can you build your skill sets out? Maybe you want to take a class at your, lo your local university. Maybe you want to um, work on your public speaking. <laughs> Anita says technology, man. Yeah, I know. It's our friend and it's our, our enemy. It's a bit of a frenemy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think really thinking about building your skill set, maybe taking Toastmasters. Um, those of you who don't know about Toastmasters, they're public speaking groups, uh, super cheap, really affordable, um, really, really great if you want to work on your speaking skills. It's going to show up in work. It's going to show up in life. Um, another thing to think about is just to work on your mindset. So, you know, maybe with this new year, there's certain limitations that you've been buying into. Um, if you're not 100% enthused and fulfilled by the career that you went, you're in, then that's a result of your mindset. So what are you buying into when it comes to your career? Um, are you buying into the idea that you can't make more money? Are you buying into the belief that you don't have a certain level of skill set to get where you want to go? What are you buying into? And I would say maybe this is the year to question that. And an amazing book uh, to question that. And I have a bookstore on my website at ashleyinternational.com. So if you want more books, I'm all about them. Um, but one book that I love is Loving What Is by Byron Katie. Such a good book. Uh, such an inspiring book to read about upping your mindset. So I highly recommend it. Another book is Mindset by Carolyn Dweck, I believe is the author. Sorry if I butchered her name. Possibility that I did. Um, Another thing to do, just to kind of up-level your career now that you're thinking about it in the new year, is to think about building your network. Uh, the new year is an incredible time to keep your network warm. Hi, Carol. I see so many of you joining. That's so fun. Um, the new year is an amazing time to warm up your network and keep connections alive. Um, and it's an excuse to email. So maybe there's a few people in your career this year who have been really inspiring to you, made a difference for you, or maybe new people that don't even know you. Uh, this is a great time to send them an email. And if you know them, thanking them for their contribution to their career, asking for a cup of coffee. If you don't, telling them that 2017 is an exciting year and that you're really looking to be inspired and that they inspire you and you would love to meet up. Uh, put yourself out there. It's all about high intention and low attachment. Um, I don't know, the way that I always network is, I, I put a lot out of energy out there but I'm not really attached to the response. And I think that that's the best way to go because then when people respond to you, it's kind of like a gift, you know? It's like you didn't even expect them to write back and it keeps things a lot more fun than being attached to hearing from people. 
Um, another thing that I want to recommend for the new year is to read more. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we're busy. We're busy people, but I think that you are only as strong as what you are reading. And in the next five years, what you read is going to determine who you can be. I really, really believe that. I think books are just masterpieces and uh, access to knowledge at such a cheap price. If you're not into reading, I recommend looking into getting a monthly membership on audible.com or a resource that allows you to kind of, um, you know, read without having to put your eyes on it, but actually listen on audible.com. I love it. I have a huge library from Audible. Um, you know, you could listen to books while you're in the car if you have a big commute. Um, and then a final resolution that I just want to rec recommend is to think about mentorship. Do you have a mentor? Uh, it doesn't have to be a career coach like me. It doesn't have to be programs like mine. It could be maybe you're looking to up your mindset. You want to get a life coach. Or maybe there's a professor at a university that you went to that you're inspired by that you want to establish a relationship with. I think one of the worst practices you can implement when it comes to mentorship is asking somebody to be a mentor. But what you can do is you can really explore just starting to build organic relationships and giving them your attention and time. Um, yeah, and I see Anina saying she has an amazing, amazing life coach. It's a game changer. It's everything uh, to have the right mentorship, whatever that is that you need. Um, it doesn't have to be somebody you pay. It can be somebody that is just a part of your life. Um, so with that said, I would love to hear what is your word? What are you looking to embody in the new year? I think uh, on top of yeah, and I see Crystal saying YouTube has a lot of inspiring resources. I love that. So true. Um, you know, one thing personally that I'm looking to work on in the new year is I think a lot of people, um, they read they're, they're read the stuff I put out there. And it's so funny because I think everyone thinks I'm a lot more serious than I am. And so I think one of my resolutions is to show people who I really am and to be 100% integrated. So maybe you want to ask yourself, am I fully integrated in my career? I think in my career personally as a career coach, doing my seminars, having my online programs, doing online workshops, all of these things, um, I think I'm fully integrated with the exception of fully being my goofy self. I think I'm, I'm pretty goofy and I don't know what it is, but like when I do these videos, I just tap into my inner 65 year old therapist and I don't totally tap into my, you know, late twenties goofball self. So I think I'm looking to implement more of myself so I could be fully integrated and fully myself in my career. So I want to leave you with that question. Where can you be more integrated? Where can you be more clear? Where can you be more self honoring? And with that, um, I would love to hear from you in the comments and connect to you. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me what your word is. Um, any resources you want to offer everybody who's watching this video. And with that said, I'm signing off. Happy New Year to all of you. I'm going to try to do more Facebook Lives. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to be coming to my live event in May 2017. Uh, it's the weekend of the 19th to the 21st. I'm really excited uh, to support those of you who come on your clarity, on your vision, on your confidence. Um, so with that, take care. Happy New Year, y'all. Have a good one.